you nice back. to meet you. <laughs> Sit down. As you see, nice to see nice you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so, uh, uh, to see you, we know each other for such you a long time. You look time. wonderful, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. you know, we started with your song, Maria Magdalena. I suppose this song is about that we women are not angels sometimes. And uh, to what extent your character just resembles of, uh, of an angel or not? <laughs> oh, you know, I think I have a quite well character. I mean, um, everybody works, like to work with me very, very goodly and very nice. They, they, they like to work with me. They like to uh, uh, speak with me. They like to make with me interviews. Um, uh, I'm a mom. <laughs> and, you know, this is something you have. A, I have a big heart, yes. you know, and I think so it's an easy angel. to work with me. <laughs> Сандра, я сейчас буду говорить от всех мужчин-поклонников. Вас считают самой эротичной певицей диска. Как вы относитесь к этому титулу? He will speak on the behalf of men, your admirers. You are considered to be uh, one of the most erotic queen of disco. <laughs> How do you like this title? <laughs> I don't like this title. No, no. why? I suppose for women it's a good... Uh, to be sexy, to be appealing. Yes, yes, but I'm not erotic, you know. Erotic is for me sex. And um, let's say like Samantha Fox, ah. who's showing her boobs <laughs> and so. And I'm not like that, you know. Um, You're better. <laughs> yeah. Sandra, на сцене вы всегда страстные, эмоциональные. Дома позволяете себе эмоции? On stage you're also passionate, just emotional. Uh, do you keep, uh, do you just bring to life your emotions at home? For sure. Of course. For sure. And my energy has to go out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> not even on stage, even at home. You know, we, we met not the first time and I always wanted to ask you how this uh, wonderful dimples on your cheeks, it's after your mother or after your father? My Who mother. You? Mother? Yeah. So she's the same beautiful as you are. <laughs> yes, we're looking really similar. This is, this and by is, character too. Yes. Yeah. Так, ну и прежде чем задать... boys are the same, yeah. Ah, your, your sons. <laughs> yeah. Yes, they inherited it. Yeah. Sandra, был в вашей творческой uh, биографии Girls Band... Sweet 16, I can't just say. Был творческий Girls Band арабески. Я знаю, что вы сразу стали лидером группы. Скажите мне, вот что интересно, ведь, наверное, это какой-то вот женский коллектив, это вообще испытание на прочность или как? Just uh, when you were the member of the group Arabeski, you mm -hmm. were evidently the leader. Uh, yeah. So I suppose this Queen's uh, women's group is always a test for strength, no? It's, it's difficult to survive in a woman collective. I don't understand the last uh, is it the, Is it di difficult to survive in a woman's group? This was very difficult, yeah, because, be yeah, because we were seven years together, day and night, mm -hmm. you know, and we worked also very hard in Japan, and I really have to say we had to fight. Very hard, yes. We had always to fight. That she wants to wear this, I want to wear that. You know, I was very strong. I had my thick mind. The other one too. So it was a hard time. It was not as, uh, always easy, you know. <laughs> and the choreography and all the stuff. And no, несмотря на то, что вам было тяжело, нам было весело. But we like it. It was hard for you, but very good for us. That's because fine. Like Thank you. But you know, I have your favorite song. It's Everlasting Love. Let's uh, yeah. also show it. This video, yeah. Uh, this I was the point. most funniest <laughs> video what I ever really? have done. And the, very hard, very hard. We had just three days. It was in Austria. And I had... Um, I worked 10 hours per day. Yeah. And I had every 20 minutes yes, to, change, the time. to change my costume, the makeup, the nails, the hairstyle. I had just 20 minutes to change. And then I have to jump in a roll, <laughs> you know. It, it starts from the under Tala, you know, from the, from the beginning of the earth, Adam and Eve, you know. And then until, until this, 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 uh, incredible punk rock lady who is doing like that, you know, with the pink <laughs> colored hair. And it was so funny for me and it was very simple to do for me because I have to be just my own, you know. Uh, how was, many images did you show, did you change? It was, I think it was uh, 22. 22. Wow. <laughs> 21 in one area. Yeah, <laughs> and it was a wonderful time. Oh, it was so nice. I but love it, still love it. Do you believe in everlasting eternal love? Sure. 
Sure. <laughs> Which woman is not believing in everlasting love, you know? Какой? Прейнинг твой. А. I suppose not everyone knows, but you were also the member of the group Enigma, and there was some uh, uh, some special party that you just performed, mm -hmm. like uh, said the dimoi, said the donmoi, so mm -hmm. it's yours. Yes. <laughs> so it was you who, who yes. was singing it. It, mm -hmm. it looks very sexy also. Mm -hmm. You worked on your voice <laughs> sometimes. Uh, it was the secret was that I was spoken. And you speak French? Sad dimoi. You know, I don't, yeah. Because I'm French, but I don't speak French, but I can read it. But I like your pronunciation. And I have it in my, I have it in my head because from my childhood, you know. So that's can you why repeat it once again? Just sad, just I want to see it. Sad, dis-moi, sad, donne-moi. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I don't do it now very hard, you know. <laughs> Sandra, I know that you live in Ibiza, you are very close to Thomas Anderson, you have even written a song with him, right? But you always didn't love Dieter Bollin. I'm curious why. Uh, you live uh, in Ibiza and your neighbor is Thomas Anders. Yeah. You even uh, wrote uh, the common just song with him, yes, that yeah. was a video, video clip. And, but you always uh, sometimes disliked Dieter Bollen, or, or it's not like that. This yes? is right, yeah. Why? Because, very simple, he, he's for me a very arrogant person. Arrogant? He always was it. I, I mean, I was with, with um, uh, Thomas Anders and him on tournée in the 80s, three weeks every day I saw him and he was always playing the big boss and uh, <laughs> I, I personally I don't, don't like, like this, macho yes. types and he is like, <laughs> maybe he changed <laughs> now because he's older, I have no idea but I never liked this person, I always liked very much him. Thomas, because he's very intelligent guy and very charming. Yes, very charming. He has a wonderful wife and family. Говоря, люблю, really. <laughs> 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 but it's just a personal thing of mine, you know. But it's just a personal thing of mine, you know. But you have two sons, Nikita and Sebastian, and they lived in London, as I, as I remember. Did they come back to you? <laughs> Did mm, they live uh, they studied you now? now, and they study since two years now in Amsterdam. Ah, so and, far. Um, and Nikita, is, Sebastian is still now in Amsterdam, and Nikita just makes a practicum. I don't know how to say that in English, a practicum. You give somebody and mm -hmm. somewhere to learn for a while, for six months or maybe a year. And then he's studying now in Barcelona and this is just 20 minutes fly. So he comes maybe, I hope, every weekend at home and it's nice for me as a mother oh, wait, that uh, I can see my boy more often than normal, you know, because normally they're just coming at home winter time, oh, uh, Christmas time, summer time and during the year I don't see them, you know. And now it's you wonderful, it's more family life for me, you know, every day. Every weekend, I mean. Oh, why does Nikita has Russian name? <laughs> Nikita, it's Russian uh, that, name. This is was Zufall. This, this was, uh, it wasn't planned. Michael gave him this name and he said, what do you think about Enigma, uh, uh, Nikita? And then I said, why not? It sounds very nice. It sounds very nice. And then I said, because um, Elton John song Nikita was number one and I was with in the heat of the night number two and I didn't pass him, I couldn't mm -hmm. pass him, I couldn't climb to number one because of Elton John of Nikita and then I said, <laughs> okay, Nikita. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Sandra, у вас есть песни о России, о Москве и вы неоднократно заявляли, что когда-нибудь переедете в Москву. У меня вопрос, когда? <laughs> you have uh, songs devoted to Russia, Russian Nights and Moscow Nights. <coughs> uh, yes. And you sometimes even said that you will move uh, one day in Russia. So when you will move? <laughs> oh, maybe earlier than you think. <laughs> <laughs> this <life. laughs> it will I happen. love, I love Russian, really. really. I love this country. I love it so much, you can't believe it. And um, I start in January with a new project and then I think I have minimum to be here for the next six months uh, and uh, to control and to, to check everything, you know. Mm -hmm. And then um, I think I have to be here for minimum six months or for a half year. That's the plan what I have. And so it will be early enough. Uh, do you remember, uh, I, I remember that you wanted to study some Russian words and some Russian song. Did you study anything now? No, спасибо and the stuff what I say on stage, you know, uh, but this is everything. And but I would like to learn a few words more because I really like the, the, the Russian language. 
I like it. Yeah. And we like you, Sandra. It's Thank very you. good that you are a guest of our program today. And I wish you good luck and lots of Thank love. Thank you so much. Thank you to be here.